I'm Dale Parrish, District 85 Captain in Indiana. Ron Cuff. I'm a district captain in California and a veteran. Rhonda in Michigan, District 68. Jeff Traver, I'm district captain for Virginia 33. My name is Manny Cambo. I'm Ed Lula, Convention of States, district captain in Tennessee 32. I'm Connie Deneau, Convention of States volunteer, St. Petersburg, Florida. Susan Rallison of Bellevue, Ohio. I'm the state director for Convention of States, New Hampshire. I've been working on this convention of states for several months. Hi, I'm Denton Florian from Texas House District 15. I am the 29th district captain in Virginia. When I took the oath of, for the Air Force to defend the country and the Constitution, I took that as a lifetime oath, serving as a civilian today to save the Constitution and the United States. I support the Convention of States because our federal government is out of control. We have a Congress that is just drunk with spending. And we have a executive branch that is drunk with power. We're empowering ourselves to do something about it. To do our duty as American citizens. By calling an Article 5 Convention of the States. The United States government won't reform itself without a Convention of States. It's really the only way to bring this country back to being the constitutional republic it was meant to be. Representative Casey Cox and Senator Liz Brown, thank you for supporting Convention of States. Thank you to Representative Frank Edelblum, who sponsored our legislation last year in the New Hampshire House. Thank you, Larry Metz and Senate Member Alan Hayes. And I want you to know that we've got your back. And together, we're going to make history. The Convention of States project is really an opportunity for people around the country to generate the enthusiasm that will be necessary in order to get 34 states. This is a fight you can join and feel proud of. It's amazing the energy that's behind this movement. It's the best thing that's happened in a long time. It gives me a future and it gives me a hope to hold on to. And we're working hard every day. For my kids and my grandkids, 